Hello friends, in this video we will see how to print a diamond pattern in C language program. First we will see how to print the half diamond like this and the combination of these half to diamonds in these patterns like in the diamond pattern and hourglass pattern. Now we see about the logic and C language program of half diamond pattern like this. Here we need the three counters, I for row counter, SP for printing the spaces and ST for printing the star. When I equal to 1, how many spaces are needed? 1, 2, 3, 4. When I equal to 1, 4 spaces needed. And how many stars are needed? 1 star. 1 star is needed. When I equal to 2, 3 spaces are needed and 3 stars are needed. When I equal to 3, 2 spaces are needed and 5 stars needed. So, we can say that when I equal to n, n minus 1 spaces are needed and 2 multiplied by i minus 1 star need to be printed. For example, if you see the third row, how many spaces are present? 2, n minus i and value of n is 5, 5 minus 3 equal to 2 and how many stars are present? 5 stars, 2 multiplied by value of i is 3, 2 multiplied by 3 equal to 6 minus 1, 5, the 5 stars are present, so our logic is correct, I have written the same logic here, I have entered the rows value as a 5, started the rows counter from 1 to i less than or equal to rows. I have written two for loops here means one for loop and one while loop for space printing sp equal to 1 to sp less than or equal to rows minus i printed the spaces and for printing star I have used the condition 2 multiplied by i minus 1 and printed the star. I have added the extra spaces here to display the pattern properly. After executing this program, we will get this type of output. Now we go for the second pattern, means this pattern. Here also I have needed three counters, I for row counter, SP for space printing and ST for star printing. When I equal to 5. How many spaces are needed? 0 spaces are present here, but 9 stars are present. When I equal to 4, 1 space is needed and 7 stars are present. So we can say that for I equal to 1, n minus, 1, n minus i spaces needed and 2 multiplied by i minus 1 star needed. This logic is same as the previous pattern. Only the difference is that here I have started the row counter from 5 to 1 means I have written changed the for condition i equal to rows i greater than or equal to 1 and simply decremented the value of i up to 1. The same program I have written here except this condition and after executing this program we will get this type of output. Now we will go for the pattern 3 means diamond pattern. Pattern 3 is a combination of both previous patterns that is pattern 1 and pattern 2. If rows equal to 5 then for diamond pattern it prints 9 rows because the middle line is common for both the patterns. So, the total rows equal to rows multiplied by 2 minus 1. When I entered rows equal to 5, 5 multiplied by 2, 10 minus 1. Means total rows printed will be 9. So, I have written the first for loop for i equal to 1 to i less than or equal to rows multiplied by 2 minus 1. In this loop, we need to apply two different logics. 
so i have divided the program into two different parts the part one i less than or equal to rows and part two where i greater than rows so i have added one if else statement here to check the same in part one we have to apply the same logic or code which we have seen in the pattern one means the same conditions for printing the spaces and the same conditions for printing the star now we see how to print the part two means i greater than rows see when for space printing how many spaces need to be printed here here the value of i is 6 the space is one space is needed here value of i is 7 two spaces needed so we can say that for each row in this pattern we need to print i minus row spaces now come to the star printing when i equal to 6 how many stars are present 7 stars when i equal to 7 5 stars so we can say that we have to print the stars from 1 to this condition 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by rows minus i minus 1 so how i comes to this formula if you see the pattern 2 for star printing i 2 multiplied by i minus 1 formula was there to check the star count but i indicate half number of stars there for the present line that line so for applying the same logic in the diamond pattern of part 2 we need to calculate half number of stars at that present line and using the 2 multiplied by rows minus i formula we get that number so we need to print the stars up to the value obtained from this formula I have applied the same logic in this program for part 1 i greater less than or equal to rows and for part 2 i greater than rows here printed the spaces from 1 to sp less than or equal to i minus rows here printed the stars up to 2 multiplied by in bracket 2 multiplied by rows minus i minus 1 and after executing this program we will get this type of output means a diamond pattern now we go for the R glass pattern means this type of pattern the combination of this and this here we also need the three counters I for row counter SP for space counter and ST for star printing here also we need to print the rows up to total rows equal to rows multiplied by 2 minus 1 because the middle row is the common for upper pattern and the lower pattern. Here also I have divided that program in two parts. Part 1 I less than or equal to rows I greater than rows. But the logic in both the parts are not same like the previous pattern here so first we will see the logic of part 1 means i less than or equal to rows see here when i equal to 1 how many spaces are needed 0 spaces when i equal to 2 1 space is needed when i equal to 3 2 spaces is needed so we can say that we have to print the uh, spaces up to sp less than i now come for star printing here star need to be printed up to 2 multiplied by some value plus 1 same like the previous patterns so uh, when i equal to 1 
star need to be printed 2 multiplied by 5 minus 1 plus 1 equal to 9 times when i equal to 2 star need to be printed 7 times when i equal to 3 star need to be printed 5 times so we need to print star up to this condition 2 multiplied by rows minus i plus 1 by applying both these conditions we get this half part of the hourglass pattern now come to the part 2 that is i greater than rows space need to be printed up to 2 multiplied by rows minus i star need to be printed up to st less than or equal to 2 multiplied by i minus rows plus 1 for printing star i have written the same condition present in the part 1 only the difference is that part 1 in part 1 rows value is greater so i have subtracted i from the rows here i value is greater so i have subtracted rows from the i so when i equal to 6 2 multiplied by 6 minus 5 plus 1 equal to 3 times start get printed when i equal to 7 5 times star get printed so our logic is correct here now we will see the program the same logic i have applied here in this program started the loop for loop of rows from 2 multiplied by rows minus 1 in first part i have applied the space printing loop from 1 to less than or equal to i star printing loop up to this in else part space printing loop up to 2 multiplied by rows minus i and star printing loop up to 2 multiplied by i minus rows plus 1 so after executing this type this program we will get the hourglass pattern printed in the C language. You can find these logical steps in the description of this video also. Thank you. Please subscribe to my channel to get such a C language programming videos. Bye.